Hi, this is Rich with LiDAR News, and we're at Denver ILMF 2012, and we're here at the Dielmo 3D booth with Jose Garcia, the CEO, and he's going to show us their latest launch uh, of LiDAR Online that was uh, announced at uh, ELMF uh, a few months ago. So, Jose, I'll let, it, uh, let you uh, take it away. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, LiDAR Online is a new LiDAR social network uh, where any user or any company uh, can create an, a free account and, and use to promote their company for free. It's like a Twitter for LiDAR. Uh, for example, you, you can filter and find companies by country or by, by keyword. Uh, for example, any company can have the, the profile uh, with the contact details and use the social network to promote the company, their, their products. And together with the social network, with, uh, we have a uh, SOP for LiDAR data. Uh, where any user can find data online, for example, uh, by map, or we can search some data sets here in, in Europe, Central region, search. And now, for example, we will see this this LiDAR mobile <coughs> data uh, together with Ivan data in, in the city of Ghent. Here we have 1,500 points by square meter. Uh, we can see the point cloud uh, using uh, our WMS server uh, to see the, the original point cloud. And now we have tools to, to manage the, the LiDAR data online. For example, uh, if we want to, to see a, a 3D of this tree, we can Actually, draw, this is, this is draw a region. And now, uh, this data is inside a, a shop, so if the owner of the data uh, wants to publish their data for payment, users will pay only for the data that they download in the moment that they download. So, for example, in this case, we, we will <coughs> first we will log in. The way it always happens, right? It's here. Okay, so first we will log in with your user uh, in Ladder Online. Now you will confirm the price. Uh, the, the price is estimated based on the number of points that you will download. Uh, there is a price for each 100,000 points and a minimum price. And now we are downloading the point cloud and we will see in, in 3D. In this open source software that we have developed. So this open source software can work uh, from a web page or from any other software. Uh, here you can change the point size, you can change the style of visualization. Okay. And now suppose that we want to measure the height of this building, we can use uh, the profile tool, uh, for example, I will do a 2 meter profile uh, for this building, and now we will open the data in another open source software, that this is the DLM Open LiDAR profile client. We also confirm the, the log and the price, and we will download only the points inside this profile. Here uh, we can edit the point cloud, we can remove points or we can change the classification. We have measurement tools, for example, we can measure the height of the, of the house, the width. We can measure the distance from one point to other point. We can measure the slope of the terrain. 
and now, uh, for example, suppose that uh, you are not an expert in LiDAR and you don't know how to manage LAS files, but uh, LiDAR Online allows to download the point cloud in the format that you prefer to work in the software that you prefer. For example, you can download a zip file, a XYZ, a KML, Colada, uh, DXF. For example, now we will download a KML file, and now we can download a profile, a region, or a polygon. So let's download this, this tree. Now we will log in. We will <coughs> confirm the the license of use of the data and the price. And now the server prepares a, a KML file only with the points inside this area. We are downloading the file and it will be opened automatically in Google Earth. The same could be done uh, with a DXF and manage the data in AutoCAD with a save file or whatever you, you prefer. So this opens the LIDAR data to any GIS user. Here we have uh, the data that we have downloaded and we can see this tree in, in Google Earth. On the other hand, we also have uh, algorithms online that allow to download data online, apply an algorithm and deliver a result. For example, uh, we can use this tool to obtain the visibility, for example, with two 20 centimeters width, I want to know if from this point I can see this other point. We have 1.18 in the emissor, 1.18 in the receptor, now we log in, accept the license and the price, and here we will pay for the data and for the algorithm. It is, uh, we, we can see that uh, it is possible to see uh, this point under the, the tree. Or for example, we could draw uh, different lines, for example, we will obtain the We will obtain different visibility lines uh, from this point to this line, and then we will be able to analyze the road security of this cross setting, for example. It is downloading, and we can see that all these points are visible from this, from this one. Let's try another point that cannot be seen. So sample this so in the near future we will develop uh, much more algorithms that work with LIDAR data online and do any application so that people will be able to extract information from, from the point cloud directly uh, in a website and we also can click in the profile and and see exactly the point cloud of this profile to see which is the point that don't allow to 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 see the, the object. So in this case is is the house. Okay. Well, and finally, uh, we also have a, a solution to to distribute any any georeferenced file. For example, here we have photos from LiDAR Mobile and we can locate the position of, of the photos. We can click here and OK, I'm, I can be interested in this photo. I will see the previews of the photos. I can see the description of this file. I can see the more information about the product, the provider, the price, and I can buy this photo. Okay. I will confirm my login and we will download the, the file and this could be for photos or for maps or any georeferenced map file. And what? This is some of the tools that we can offer in LiDAR Online.
Great. Well, thanks for the, uh, the demo, Jose, and uh, best luck to you. And uh, if our users want to check out uh, the site, it can be visited at lidaronline-online.com. Thanks again. Thank you.